Welcome back everybody. This is Dave with Spider Monkey 2 and we're back out at the range and we're gonna do probably our final test for now out of our Ruger American Gen 2 with this AAC black tip saber ammo. We're gonna take it out to about 300 yards and we're gonna see if we can't catch one of these things. Stick around, should be a lot of fun. All right, so we're back out at the range. It's getting a little bit chilly. We're getting closer to whitetail season, and I'm excited to try out this AAC uh, Saber Black Tip ammo. I'm gonna try it on some whitetails this year because I've had amazing results in the non-scientific tests that we've done with it so far. Uh, we did group tests, they did really well. We did devastation at a uh, close-up range. I think it was about 20, 30 yards, and it just was phenomenal, big old chunk. And then we did some devastation tests at uh, 100 yards and right at about 200 yards. And we kept getting really good results. So we're going to take it out. And this is based on a suggestion that I got from a viewer. Um, sorry, I don't remember your uh, user handle off the top of my head. But he suggested that we take a five-gallon bucket with replaceable lids and put it about 300 yards plus and see if we can't catch one of these things and see what it looks like from there. So what I did is I went to, uh, I think it was Walmart, got some cheap ones. Unfortunately, they aren't like sealed tight tight. So as soon as we tip them on their side, we're gonna go ahead and shoot it. We're gonna have to do it pretty fast. I did buy two though. Um, we are right at about 300 yards. So I'm gonna probably line both of them up side by side, see if I can't hopefully hit both of them with one shot a piece, and we'll compare them if we can catch them with that. I didn't fill them completely full because I think the pressure, as soon as this bullet enters, it would just grenade the bucket. So they're not completely full. I got about an inch short of uh, being full on the five gallon buckets. We'll stick a couple of uh, one gallon uh, water jugs behind them just in case and uh, hopefully we can catch one of these things and then I got a pumpkin lined up or uh, on top of the stand down there at about 300 yards as well to see what our devastation would be on that so I'll take you down and show you the targets because I have them all down at the bottom or, or at the bottom of the range right now so we'll take you down we'll get you set up and we'll uh, take a look and see how it goes all right, so we're down at the bottom range here. Uh, like I said, right at about 300 yards. So the way we're gonna do this is we got the cinder block there. I'm gonna tip it up on its side. Like I said, it's not completely sealed. Those, and like they're cheap five gallon buckets, so I'm not expecting, but it's just dripping a little bit as it goes. So it's not gonna like completely go out of there before we get the shot off. And I'm gonna lay one on the ground right next to it. I'm gonna see if I can't find something to kind of wedge it up at an angle because we are up on a hill there. Um, <clears throat> we're gonna give that a shot and I'm hoping I can catch one of these things. I mean, hopefully 300 yards is as far as we need to go today. I don't wanna take it out any further than that today, but we will probably do that in the future. Um, I do have another Grendel that I wanna see how these group out of, but we'll do that at a later date as well. And then, guys, we have, don't want you to see that one. May have taken a practice shot or two on that one. So we got a good sized pumpkin here. It's still fairly fresh, but we're past Halloween now. So it's time for the pumpkins to go for the year. And uh, we're gonna see if we can't hit that and see how the devastation looks at right about 300 yards. But I'm really hoping we can catch one of these things. So let's get that set up. We'll uh, show you what we're working with as far as rifle up there. And although, I mean, if you've seen the last couple of videos, you know. But anyway, let's get this set up and let's have some fun. Okay, before we get to uh, rolling on these tests, let's show you what we're working with today. Again, we got the uh, AAC Sabre Black Tip Ammo. This stuff is just phenomenally priced on Palmetto State Armory. I have no affiliation, so no codes for discounts, whatever. But it's like 15 bucks a box and they don't seem to run out of stock, so... I'd get my hands on some guys if you want a good hunting round, self-defense round, or just, I'd say, wouldn't say this would be a good all-around plinking round. You're going to want to save it for the good situations and stuff, but uh, it works phenomenally. I I can't really find a better deal out there, and Grendel ammo is not the easiest to find. But today, as always, we're going to be shooting this out of our Ruger American Gen 2 Predator. Absolutely love this setup. You'll hear me say it every time, and I will continue to say it. Uh, yeah, these take uh, standard AR mags, uh, 6.5 Grendel mags. I think you can use something else, like 6.8 or something. I don't know. But I just use the ones that are designated. Uh, these Elander mags from Alexander Arms seem to work the best out of this setup. 
Uh, I have some Duramags that I use as well, and those work, but uh, I want to go with one that is not going to hiccup on me. So when I do take this out hunting, I know I have had a little bit of hiccups here and there, chamber and stuff, but it's not too bad. But anyway, this is the setup we're shooting it out of. Let's, uh, let's get after the test. All right, guys, we're going to load up two rounds. Just do two shots simultaneously here on the buckets, and hopefully we catch them. I don't know. Um, right at 300, I don't know if we're going to get that impact that we want. I think it might just pass through, but we won't know till we try. So we're going to do the left one first, and then the right one. I think we got our height figured out. Our left or right is good. All right, here we go. All right, hopefully that was a good shot. Let's go for the right one. Oh, wow. Um, let's go ahead and shoot the left one again. The right one exploded, so uh, let's try the left one again. <laughs> Maybe I didn't make a good shot on the left one. Or maybe it just passed through. I don't know. But let's do one more shot. Yeah. I think we were... Uh, might have been missing a little bit there because they just both blew up. But let's go down and take a look and see what happened. Okay, um, we're definitely gonna have to take that test out further next time um, at 300 yards. Well, you know, I'm kind of, I'm seeing a bunch of stuff in there, so maybe it did work. Um, yeah, I can definitely see that I missed high on the first one. Looked like we actually had something come out up top there. Um, so yeah, that was on me just needed to aim a little bit lower i still oh my goodness guys yeah that definitely worked we just ruined our bucket so there is all our remains that's still a lot of mass guys for 300 yards wow but before we get that out let's take a look at the other bucket this one i don't have much hopes for because we went up and around here yeah so you can see the first one we definitely oops sorry it was laying like this we definitely skimmed up out the top so like i said i didn't have these completely full so <clears throat> with that skimming up top like that we didn't get any expansion really probably skimmed right over the top of the water so there are yeah there's a little bit of grenaded bullet there but i'm very glad that we put up two of them guys because at least i caught them caught one of them so I'd call that a successful test. That is really neat, guys. Oh, sorry, I'm trying not to get all wet here. We're just gonna take the big chunks here. Yep, oh, yep, starting to grenade apart in my hand. All right, let's see if we can't get a look at this. So for 123 grains, I don't have a scale um, that I can weigh this on right now. But at 300 yards, guys, that's gonna that's going to still pack a freaking wallop. <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right, so we'll call that a successful failure. <laughs> um, I'm glad the bucket's held up enough for me to get second shots off there. That's pretty cool. Um, unfortunately, I grenaded the buckets. That's okay. Um, when we do this test, they were pretty cheap at Walmart, so blah, blah. I'll go buy some more. Uh, we'll probably do that test again when we have the opportunity to take it out further range. Uh, that's not going to be me today, though. But guys, I mean... Lost a good chunk, but that's going to put a hole. I mean, jeepers. I didn't expect it to have that much mass. Now, we did have a ton of shrapnel in there. Um, small pieces like this, uh, and a lot smaller as well. But pretty much everything in there. So uh, it held up really well. I did not think it was going to hold up that well at that range. So we got a pumpkin lined up here. We're going to take one more shot 
hopefully, hopefully, place a good shot on it. And let's see if we can blow it up. All right, guys, I got you pointed down range this time because uh, sometimes people don't believe me that I'm actually shooting that far. But anyway, you can't really see it with a GoPro, but we're way down at the bottom. I left the white buckets down there, so maybe you'll catch a glimpse of it if uh, the monitor that you're on right now is big enough. We're going to take one more shot. We're going to see if we can't blow that pumpkin up. I think we can, whether or not it grenades, I don't know. <laughs> like I said, it's still a fairly ripe pumpkin for this late in the year. But let's go ahead and see if we can't place a good shot on it. We got the close-up camera close down there too, so hopefully we get a good shot of it. Like I said, it's on me to make the good shot placement though. Take my uh, sunglasses off there so I can actually see. All right. I'm going to hold where I think. <laughs> Here we go. Let's go ahead and put one more on that, guys. I don't know if I hit it or not. Sounded like I did. I may have just uh, sailed right by it, though. I don't know. Didn't get any reaction out of it, but it does look like there's a hole. But jeepers. All right, let's try again. Well, knocked it down. I saw chunks fly. Let's go down and take a look. All right, coming down to the range here, or the bottom of the range. Let's go ahead and take a look at this thing. Like I said, I think I may have hit, yeah, there's two bullet holes there. So I did hit it both times. Just wasn't, wasn't as crazy as I thought it was going to be. That's all. Uh, still good devastation. Not bad. I just didn't see it on the first one. So at least I know I'll hit something at... 300 yards there with two shots about a three and a half four inch difference so not horrible <laughs> i'm not a precision shooter guys i never claim to be that will do the job for whatever i'm shooting at at 300 yards unless it's a squirrel or something that's a smaller target but that i'm actually happy with i placed two good shots right in a row there was no cutout in between there so real time you guys saw it um yeah i am 100% confident and thoroughly, sorry, I'm trying not to get the sun behind you guys. 100% confident and thoroughly ready to take whitetail with these. I'm excited to show you guys the results. I don't have good enough cameras yet to uh, film a hunt. I've tried. GoPros just don't work unless you're really up close. There's no zoom. Uh, and my cell phone can only get so-so coverage. So some of the some of the areas that we hunt are longer range, which is why I wanted to test this out. Some of it's shorter range. So I'll probably try to get some footage, but no matter what, I'll show you the end result. I'll take pictures, uh, show you the devastation, the wounds, and the yardage that we shot those white tail at. Here in Wisconsin, we get multiple tags, one buck and two or three doe tags. So um, we got to fill up that freezer this year. All right, everybody, there you have it. So the AAC Sabre Black Tip Ammo. Just I'm going to keep grabbing some of this when I can. Uh, like I said, guys, it's cheaply priced, about 15 bucks a box, wherever you need it shipped to, um, whatever your regulations are in the state that you're in or country. Uh, we got a lot of people around the world actually following us. That is so cool. I appreciate you all. Apparently, I'm big in Australia, and I love Australia. <laughs> that is so cool. I want to go there someday. And I did want to show you the uh, post shot, what the brass looks like for you reloaders out there. I'm not currently. Maybe someday. It doesn't look all that bad um, to me. Uh, you guys could see it and be like, oh my God, that's the worst. So I think it looks okay enough to reload with, obviously. And for 15 bucks a box for having brass case ammo, I think that's insane. And I am really excited to try this out. All right, everybody, there you have it. This is Dave with Spider Monkey 2A. Give us a like, maybe share this video. I hope you subscribe. Make sure you turn on that bell for notifications so you know when the videos are coming out. And hit that super thanks button if you feel like throwing a few bucks at the channel here and there and supporting us. That's the easiest way to do it. And as always, thanks for stopping by.